Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and look in the system. I have my first patient referral from ER. Hi there. Welcome. My name is Dr. Matt. I'm going to do your examination today. Go ahead and tell me about your referral from ER. Okay. Perfect. Can you please verify your first and last name and your date of birth? Wonderful. So I found you in my system. Do you have any allergies? Oh, wait. It looks like you have no allergies listed. Are you sure you're allergic to penicillin? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that in. Okay. And do you have any medical history such as hypertension, hyperlipidemia, you have hypertension, okay. Are you taking any medication right now? You are. And how many milligrams? Okay, is that once a day or twice a day? Once a day, okay. Okay, perfect. Alright, so what I'm going to do today is I will perform an examination, but before we begin, can you please tell me a little bit about what's going on and what's bothering you? Okay. I see. So you've been experiencing some jaw pain, okay? And when did this start? Okay, I understand. So two, 12 months ago, and did you have any procedures done? You had a dental implant. All right. Do you mind if I type all of this down as you explain what happened? Okay. And is the pain radiating anywhere on your neck, behind your head, or in the back of your throat? In the back of your throat. Okay, do you have difficulty swallowing? A little bit. And any pain around here in the back of your ear or your ear? It does look like your ear hurts, okay? Have you been seen by an ENT? Yeah. And they did the nose scope and they couldn't find anything, correct? Okay. What about um, x-ray? Have you ever had those done? Okay, so twice and nothing was wrong. You also had a CT. Okay. Okay. I have a very vague idea of what could be wrong with you. But before I um, give you a diagnosis, I would like to first take a look and make sure that I am right. I'm going to go ahead and just sanitize my hands. And I'm going to make sure that you don't have any flu-like symptoms. Okay. I'm going to put this underneath your tongue. Go ahead and open. Good. And hold it in for me, please. Okay. Is it okay if I listen to your heart and your lungs? Okay. Is it okay if I put the stethoscope underneath your shirt?
So I was able to hear only S1 and S2, now S3, now S4. I'm going to listen to your lungs as well. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Good. And again, take a deep breath in and breathe out. Okay, perfect. So no wheezing, no crackles. now is I will check your facial sensation and make sure that your body can perceive the outside stimulus in a proper way. Also, I will be checking for any pain and sensitivity. Okay, All right, so what I'm going to do is I will gently palpate your jaw. Is that okay? Close your eyes and tell me if you feel this. Very good. What about this? Okay. And what about this? Perfect. Did you feel that equally on both sides? Okay. Alright, the first thing that I'm going to do is to perform a sharp or dull test. I'm going to touch you with two different textures. One is going to feel dull and one is going to feel sharp. So I'm going to show you that on your chest. Is that okay? Okay. This is what sharp is going to feel like and this is what dull is going to feel like. Okay. Alright, go ahead and close your eyes and tell me if you feel sharp or dull. And now I'm going to touch you with almost the same textures. One is going to be dull, which is the same texture that you felt on the first test. And the other one is going to be even sharper than the first one. So you're definitely going to have to figure out which one is sharp and which one is dull. Okay, go ahead and close your eyes. Tell me if it's sharp or dull. Also dull. What about now? Dull. And now? Dull. Okay. Okay, next I'm going to ask you to tell me if it's right or left. So I'll touch you with the 
brush and I'm gonna need you to tell me if you feel it on the right side or the left side or both. Check your taste. But before I do that, I would like to check inside of your mouth. I know you mentioned that you're having some pain in the back of your throat. Is it on the both sides? No. So does it feel like a sore throat? No. It hurts only when you swallow, correct? Okay. And it's only on one side. Noticing anything swollen and the fact that you had a CT and x ray excluding anything, you know, like a mass that explains why we can't find anything. And sometimes, when we can't find anything, um, especially in this case, I believe it might be a nerve pain, it's called trigeminal neuralgia. So what is happening is that there is a nerve going this way. One is going to the vision, the other one is going to smell, and the other branch is going down to the jaw. You might be experiencing some inflammation around here, and that might explain the pain. All right, I'm going to take a look one more time. Okay, so what I'll do is, I'll check your jaw a little bit better, okay? I'm going to push on both sides and I need you to clench, okay, hard. Okay, good. Is it okay if I palpate your neck? Can you please swallow? Okay, stick your tongue out for me. Move it up and down, good, side to side, okay? Can you push with your tongue inside your cheek? Like that, great. And on the other side, like that, great. Okay. So what I will do is I'll put one drop on your tongue and I need you to identify this taste, okay? Make sure that your taste is intact. It tastes like strawberries. Okay, that's good. All right, let's go ahead and take a look inside your nose. Have you been having any difficulty breathing on the side that it hurts? Mm -hmm. mm. So that explains why you're having a lot of inflammation and the inflammation that you're experiencing on this side is actually going up to the sinus as well. So let's see if your smell is intact, but of course I wanna take a look. Seems like a little bit um, on the right side is more inflamed than the left, which explains how everything, you know, is going on the same side. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'll have you cover your left nair, okay? So go ahead and cover your left nair to check your right nair to see if you can smell this. Okay, take a deep breath in through your nose. Smells like coffee. Okay. And I have one more. Yeah, I'm 
Not with both ears down. Okay, what does that smell like? Lavender. Excellent. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and check your ears now. Are you experiencing any problems, any pain? So you're having some pain in the back of your ear, okay? Have you noticed anything swollen? No? Alright, I'm going to just gently palpate. Let me know if you feel any kind of pain. I'm going to start with the side that hurts the most. Let's see. I'm going to check the mastery bone on the other side too. Okay, perfect. I'm going to go ahead and check your hearing now with a tuning fork. What I'll do is I'll create a vibration sound and I'll put it right behind your ear. I'm going to need you to tell me when you don't feel the vibration anymore, okay? And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Now, perfect. All right, so it seems like both ears are synchronizing and responding within the same uh, time. What I'll do now is I'll create the same sound. I'll put it behind your ear and then in front of your ear. So I need you to tell me which position here is louder. Position number one, which is behind of your ear, and position number two, which is in front. Okay? So this is position number one. And this is position number two. Definitely number two. Good. And same thing on the other side. So this is position number one. And this is position number two. Definitely number two. Excellent. Okay, I'll take a look inside your ears now. I'm gonna have you look that way for me. Everything looks very healthy on that side. All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. So what I'm going to do now is I'll check your vision, but before I do that, I'm going to insert a drop in your, in each eye, make sure that I'm dilating the pupils enough so I can do various tests. What's going to happen is you're going to feel a very fuzzy feeling inside your ear. Okay, so if I, if I insert one drop in your right eye, you're going to feel it in your right ear. And if I insert something in your left eye, you're going to feel it, feel it in your left ear. Okay? So don't be alarmed if you feel that warmness and fuzzy sensation. Okay, go ahead and open your eyes. Okay, try not to blink. One. Okay. And open your eyes again. Good. Okay. So, just like I said, 
it's to be expected what you're feeling right now. Um, it's because everything is connected, so that's why the sensation goes in your ears. Okay. I'm going to flash a light in your eyes. Go ahead and look straight at my nose. Good. People around are reactive to light. I'm not seeing any abnormal color. Um, there is no redness. Okay, I'm going to take a look inside your ear, your eye. Make sure that I'm um, visualizing the optic nerve. Okay, so I'm gonna have you look straight behind me at the wall. Let's go ahead and check your other eye. Go ahead and look behind me. Same thing. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to check you for color deficiency. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you identify some numbers. Okay, I will trace them with my fingers and with my finger and I'm going to have you tell me what number you see. Six. Twenty-nine. Fifty-seven. Nine. Five, seven. Okay, what number do you see here? No number, what about here? No number. what I'm going to have you do now is I'll have you cover one eye. Very good. And can you please tell me how many fingers you say? Good. And how many fingers do you see now? Good. How many fingers do you see now? Good. And how many fingers do you see now? Good. And how many fingers do you see now? Perfect. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'll ask you to tell me which fingers are moving, right or left. So this is right and this is left. Go ahead and tell me if you see right or left moving. Right. Left. Right. Left. Perfect. Please tell me why you don't see my fingers in your field of vision. Now, good. Now, good. Now, good. Now. So your temporal mandibular joint 
um, is a little bit inflamed, what I suggest is to, you know, take it slow for the next few days, even a week or two. Try to chew only soft foods and maybe even avoid the side altogether. It's definitely going to help. Do you have any questions for me? Okay. Do you have any questions for me? No. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'll type everything that we did in. Um, we did today. So I'll type it in the computer. Make sure that we have your progress. And we definitely assess you in about two weeks. Thank you so much for coming in. I already sent the medication to your pharmacy, so go ahead and pick them up as soon as you can.